Good morning. It's Wednesday, September the 24th. It's time for the Frank Jordan Show with the Earth Mind Healers. Coming up right now. Indian summer type of day up in the Pacific Northwest. It's cool. And some rain coming in. Some good rain coming in off the coast of a, of a uh, low that's sitting out just off the coast. But we see we still have the ongoing drought situation which seems to be intensifying in Southern California. And there's been some discussion about the possibility that the harp intervention is creating that. And so I'd like to ask those of you who are intimately aware of, of how that works to uh, lead us in a discussion later when we get to that that portion of the show so we can focus our energy and attention on that. I didn't personally see that, the, or read the article that, that uh, detailed how HARP was affecting the Southern California weather. But if it is, we certainly want to do something about it. Are there any other suggestions for today's show? Perhaps uh, we could um, extend our energies to those people who are experiencing the symptoms of Ebola in far-off countries. That's a good thought. <clears throat> All right. We shall do that. So let's begin our meditation. But just one little note there. I th- I heard that the Ebola thing was a big farce and that there's, you know, they're just playing it up. There's more people. There's over 200,000 people that get flu, the normal flu a year. There's only like 400 cases of Ebola. They're using it to put the fear factor out there. So just I think everyone should take that into consideration when they're discerning what the truth is. They've done it before. This is just another pattern that shows, uh, you know, what their minds are at. And we, and they're gonna fail. All attempts to control will fail because this is a planet of dominion. However, we can still extend that energy to those who are experiencing it for their well-being. Of and course. If, if it diminishes, it diminishes, uh, down Absolutely. to nothing, then that's absolutely perfect for them. That we can do. <clears throat> All right, take your awareness up into your forehead. And when you have your awareness in your forehead, you're actually it, in the, the front lobes of the brain, which is the desktop of our biocomputer. And We want to take a step back further now, just relaxing back. And as you step back, you'll notice that the chatter slows down in your mind as you move your point of attention back away from the the frontal lobes. Step back into the indwelling soul center and extend your awareness laterally to all the other souls on earth. We're here for a common experience, although often we act it out in very uncommon ways. But we're all in the evolutionary process of becoming high humans and then God, God type humans. And, uh, in this procession, there's many levels, many stages, many periods of growth. And much of this is directed by the consciousness of, of, of stellar space itself. <clears throat> through the influence of the astrological uh, settings and programs. And we just moved into the new age, so-called, a new potential coming out of 26,000 years of learning, and we've just entered into the photon belt, where it is said we have new potentials of heightening, exciting exciting our molecules and our, the intensity of our thoughts and perceptions and ideals. And we can certainly feel it. In the last couple of days, I've, I've felt a shift. And part of that's also been because of the work we're doing now in uniting the field in in working with the, the orbs of the three-dimensional reality and creating the fourth dimension uh, within ourselves. 
and there's only a few of us experimenting with that now, but we'll have it available to others later. And those of you who went through the process with us last Sunday night, please continue to experiment and join our higher consciousness as it creates a new field of the fourth dimension. And uh, what the what's unified field does, it tremendously accelerates the release and clearing, release and clearing of old patterns and programs out of your system, as well as opening channels to higher dimensional realities and raising your frequency range. And that's what it's all about. And that's through our, our soul center is what directs that process. So take another step back now deeper. Step back into the psychic center. And this, the psychic center is a tool, an area of our consciousness that we can use between each other in our, in our private and personalized work where we want to communicate directly with someone or tune into what they're doing or, um, simply have extended consciousness and clairvoyance, being able to see the energy fields and work with them. That all happens in the in the psychic center uh, near the pineal gland around it. But we want to step on back another level deeper. Step back until you feel yourself expand, <clears throat> totally turning your awareness, your attention within yourself, shutting off the frontal lobes. The frontal lobes that primarily deal with the mid-plane of consciousness, the mental mind. Let yourself just relax back and expand. And in, in that expansion, although it feels like expanding in, into nothingness, it's really uh, the source of all things in, in the subtle energy field. Now drop your awareness down to the, to your heart and to the zero point and touch into the spirit center in the heart. This is that tiny aspect of the God force that holds our reality in form <clears throat> by functioning actively in the zero point to manifest and demanifest our realities and also our physical bodies and even our consciousness. If you ever wondered where your thoughts arise from and how, once you set your focus on a chain of thought, where does this information rise from? Well, it rises from the subconscious mind and that is stimulated and prompted by the indwelling spirit that allows ongoing consciousness to experience this, this this plane of reality that we're in. Now drop your awareness on down the spine again to the root chakra. And as you do that, feel the balance of polarity between the high self above the heart and the low self below the heart. And this is a good way to check within yourself. In that zero point now, take your point of attention to that zero point and feel it within yourself and feel your left side by listening out of your left ear. This is your female side. So just shift into your left side now and feel the energy feel there and then come back to center and shift into the right side, your male side and see if there's an, a greater intensity of energy there, more of a feeling of presence. And if there is, that's a good indication that you're operating your life primarily through your male side and it's more desirably balanced so your female can have input into your system as well as your male in the choices you make and how you conduct and manifest your life. 
So there's several ways you can empower your female to balance the power of that male. And the best one is just to reach right up through the top of your head to oversoul and ask for female energy to flow down through your crown chakra into your left side to enhance and empower the female. And surprisingly, most women also operate through their male side if they're having to hold jobs and compete out in the male world. So bring in your female. Find that beautiful balance, the polarity balance. This is where your greater power is, is being able to use your female wisdom. And the female is the basis of the negative polarity which is the physical aspect of your consciousness. And so, now with that polarity and balance, take your awareness down the spine, deeper into the female, low self in that orb of the three-dimensional reality. And from the root chakra, reach down into earth mind, now this is the the deep under soul, the deep negative polarity of the Gaia, Mother Earth, the consciousness of all living things is primarily nurtured and cared for and directed to the instinctive consciousness of Earth mind. So just tune into Earth mind for a moment now and feel it. you'll have a sensation of being drawn downward. And that's the polarity of Earth. Negative polarity. That's with the oversoul, with our (coughs) indwelling mid-range soul expressing desire or need in the zero point with intent that is what activates or resonates into the high soul and the low soul to manifest the standing waves in the zero point that alter our realities Now we've created a, a wonderful experience of creating a golden shield around the earth, which incidentally needs to be strengthened considerably today because we do have some solar flare potentials coming in, the electromagnetic burst, and it's due to arrive today. So we'll strengthen that golden shield by going to the Southern California and the earthquake grid through Earth Mind. Now tune into the earthquake grid <clears throat> and feel the intensity of stress building up. Now lift that stress up your spine. It's just potential energy ready to release as an earthquake. But bring it up your spine, out through your crown chakra, out through over soul up into the ionosphere of Earth where our golden shield is. Let that energy rise and pour into the golden grid, strengthening as we put the intent into the golden grid to repel with negative polarity the sunburst that's coming off the sun today and any destructive uh, radioactivity or gamma rays or anything that can be detrimental to any form on earth and we visualize those rays coming in being distributed around the earth in our golden grid in the ionosphere and passed on out on the other side of the earth in the solar winds (laughs) 
And we leave that continual flow and as we move around the ring of fire, <clears throat> every time we create a column of energy carrying the earthquake energy upward, we're reinforcing what we've already put in place. I'll take you where it's a little further north now to the San Diego area. In the San Andreas fault line, lifting and carrying all those energies upward. Now move further northward to San Francisco. And up to the Oregon line. And that's the foot of the San Juan de Fuca subduction zone. The San Andres is a, a, a lateral slip. It slips sideways. So it's a different type of energy produced. <clears throat> but in the subduction zone, <clears throat> pardon me, that's what creates the major volcanoes. So take our awareness now to eastern California and the Sierra Nevada mountains. And there's a quite a scattering of earthquakes now out through that entire area and into Nevada. This is new activity. Lift that energy upward all the way down to our point of beginning. Take your awareness eastward to Las Vegas and the foot of the fault system that, that is the inner subduction zone that creates the Rocky Mountains northward to Salt Lake City and up to the Yellowstone Caldera and there is some activity there today It's 3.2. So lift that energy upward and any associated energies having to do with, with the Yellowstone Cauldron. This is a massive source of energy. And it just feels like your whole body's engulfed in it as you direct the energy into the golden grid. We leave a huge pillar of energy there, a huge pillar distributing the energy into the golden grid as we continue on northward, and then into the northwest. <clears throat> There's a quite a series of new earthquakes in the Willamette Valley, reaching on up through Seattle to carry those energies upward harmonizing lubricating the, the subduction zone there I move northward around the Ring of Fire, the Pacific Rim, to Alaska. <clears throat> and 
the subduction zone that's working its way right up through the south central area of Anchorage all the way up to Mount McKinley. There's always a tremendous amount of activity in that region. It's, it's very active. So we clear the energy off before it builds to a high stress point of activity. Now take your awareness southeastward around the Aleutian Trench and the subduction zone there. Beneath the Aleutian Basin where the Pacific's pushing northward. This is primarily volcanic activity lifted upward. And move westward to Kamchatka Trench and follow it down to Japan. There's a, a 5.1 east of Namai, Japan, and other activity further north and around or close to the radioactivity of the nuclear plants. So we wrap the energy we gather from the earthquake grid incorporated around in a clockwise spiraling, spiraling upward, carrying the radioactivity, transmuting it into beneficial energy in the golden grid. As we reinforce the the pathways we've already created. And we do this working in the subtle energy system. Because everything in physical form is created by thought, by intent. And everything that's manifested by your imagination becomes a reality in the subtle energy field that sustains the physical field. So we are actually having an effect on this radioactivity. I take your awareness southward to Taipei, Taiwan. There's a 4.6 at Hulinian, Taiwan. Now move southward along the Philippine Trench where there's a string of mid-range activity, 5.2. Southward to Tinabogan, Indonesia, 5.3, and swing on around the Indonesia, the Java Trench, the Java Crescent, clearing that subduction zone. Now move eastward to New Guinea and through the Solomon Islands and those Pacific Islands that are in constant activity from underwater earthquakes, volcanoes. This is caused by the collision of the Pacific Plate with the New Caledonia Plate.
that moves south here along the Kermadec Kerm- Kerm- Trench to New Zealand. There's a 5.4 at Palmerston in North New Zealand. That will probably be volcanic activity also. Now move eastward. We want to take time to drop off at the Hawaiian Islands. And Rich, we understand that there's uh, quite a heat wave in the islands, which is not typical for this time of year. Would you lead us and direct us in how to clear that and pull in some moisture? Yeah, I'm glad I got my mic on. Let's uh, redirect the trades. Uh, the trade winds are running a little bit on the um, easterly side of the island. We're missing the island and bringing the temperature up about 5 to 10 degrees, which affects the rainfall. And uh, the islands are completely dependent upon rain for the water. And it's drying out a lot of stuff here. So let's redirect the, let's connect into the Devix real quick. You know, and ask them to redirect the energy so that the, the back to its normal pattern. Uh, we need the westerly wind to come over the island. And bring that moisture up, pull that moisture back up, bring it over our island, cooling the islands down, refreshing the forest and our watershed. And Rich, please move eastward from that point in the Pacific and generate moisture to come into Southern California. We want to bring that energy up. I'm looking, looking down south a little bit, more on the equator, bringing that energy up over Southern California and Mexico. There we go. Nice. Abundant rain. We need some steady rain. Not heavy rain, just medium. Light to medium rain consistently. We need it in intervals of approximately every 24 hours. We get a series of about a half an hour to an hour of rain. So it gives the land a chance to absorb the moisture and fill the reservoirs back up so that we don't have extreme flooding in these areas. Now, as long as we're focused on that area, let's, let's turn our turn our attention to the Skype energies, not Skype energies, uh, harp harp energies that may be focused there, creating that high pressure area. We want to go to the source of the harp energies and use energy from our golden grid now to pour a column of energy downward onto the harp facilities wherever they're located particularly down on this southern California we, we pour a torrent of energy energy that can neutralize the harp energy nullify it break that high pressure Ridge that is in setting over Southern California and out into the ocean, so that the devils can work with Ridge to move the moisture inward. And we see that happening now. 
We will let to continue clearing and releasing until it's absolutely neutralized. And the rains come back to Southern California. Now we move our awareness to South America, back into the earthquake faults, and in the region of Constitution, Chile, there's a series of located there and northward inland at Cobres on the border of Argentina right at the corner of Bolivia there's a 6.2 this is in the Andes Mountains so so we reactivate all the old dormant volcanoes and the active ones to clear the sub Duction energy away from uh, the mountain ranges and to, to clear it before the earthquakes occur. The full length of the Andes all the way up through Peru to Ecuador. Now we move northward to Central America an ongoing activity of subduction zone in Guatemala Nicaragua Honduras it causes ongoing volcanic action there now eastward to Puerto Rico And shift your attention to Iceland and the eruption of the primary volcano that's active there now. We shift that from explosive type energy to a constant release of, of magma. It seems to be gradually subsiding. Now back to the Mediterranean. There's only low level activity through that area now. Now they're into Afghanistan, Kyrgyzstan. And on through China, which is very mild, no earthquakes today. Now take our awareness back to our point of beginning and shift our attention inland to the fracking areas around Luther, Oklahoma. Pawnee, Oklahoma. This seems to be spreading into a wider area. Lift those energies upward. Then on eastward to Tiptonville, Tennessee on the New Madrid Fault. Lift that energy upward. Now bring your awareness back to your point of beginning. And lift your awareness 
back up your spine now into the mid-range of consciousness, the level of human activity. We take our awareness to Africa where the Ebola outbreak is occurring. Let's bring from the golden grid that the positive energy and also from earth mind underneath that region anywhere where the Ebola virus is working. <clears throat> bring a containment dome around that area that contains it and concentrates our healing energy using the positive polarity and the negative polarity to manifest a neutralizing field a neutralizing field for the virus so it simply weakens it cannot sustain itself we break down the common consciousness or group mind consciousness of this virus that supports all other viruses break down that common consciousness to allow the natural human immune system to be stimulated so that no new cases can be can become contagious. Now feel the galactic flow come in the back of your head and out your hands with the exact frequency needed to contain that virus and to strengthen and stimulate the immune activity in every individual that's put in contact with it. Because if it can't pass on, it cannot multiply we, this containment dome is there's a field a morphogenic field <clears throat> hold your hands about eight inches apart and feel the flow of energy between the positive polarity in your right hand negative polarity in your left hand create a, an orb an orb of energy that totally contains our intent to manifest the antibodies and the proper immune system within the dome we've created now feel your hands tingle and get hot as we accumulate the right frequencies given to us by the galactic center. Now we release our, our globe of energy and direct it to that dome. To continue to hold the form of what we've created and neutralize the spread of Ebola. And so it is. Now bring your awareness eastward to Iraq and the financial system of the world that's being reorganized and reconstituted as we speak and we see the three tribes of the Iraqis coming together and creating a parliament and a government and working out their problems 
working out their problems. And they, this is something we've been programming into that area for the last couple of years. Again, we want to go into earth mind in that area, clearing any of the old ancient hatreds or territorialism or domination from earth mind. And again, we create a globe in our hands with the intent to create a dome over Iran and that entire region including Syria and we project peace brotherhood love and compassion into our globe and into the dome we're creating over that entire mid-eastern region so they learn to share and live in the principles of dominion learning the brotherhood of the man and their common genetic origin, which is the same for all of these people. And we project our globe into that dome, and it'll continue to work. I'll extend our awareness out into the greater world financial structure and the Illuminati and the Cabal that are fighting desperately to maintain their hold on the domination structure they've created. And we reinforce our intent to break down that force and power of domination to clear it out of earth mind wherever it exists. And to see the entire world in dominion. And again, we hold our hands eight inch apart, create a globe, a world globe now that contains all the consciousness that's in resonance with all, all humans. We project into that globe love, harmony, peace, mutual empowerment, and the recognition that mankind is all in this world to learn the same lesson and that we are learning this lesson and with the power of the photon belt pouring in upon us now we fill our globe with the new photon energy and higher frequencies and we extend our hands outward as we extend our globe to encompass the entire world. And so the entire world is responding to the photon belt with peace and love and harmony, raising the vibrational frequency, raising the consciousness of all mankind. And we feel the intensity of the photons Our hands are getting very hot now as we redirect the photon energy to empower that which we've been creating for a couple of years now and seeing the principles of dominion being imprinted in the zero points of all humans. Empowered by love and the photon belt, which will be with us, as I understand it, 10,000 years. And so the new, new world 
reality of humans can exist in peace and harmony and ascend on into the fifth dimension in this next cycle that we're already into. And so it is. Now bring your awareness back into your own systems and take time to reach out around you and create abundance, love, and dominion in your own reality. And feel your hearts open, open and encompass all of mankind with with unconditional love. Now bring your awareness on up forward through the soul center and on out into the frontal lobes. And back into the everyday world reality. Okay, JP, I don't know if you ever made it in or not, but we're back. Did he ever pick us up, Gary? I don't think he did, no. Well, we'll have this one on file for people should they desire it. Yeah, I got it recorded. So, uh, all is not lost. Yeah. And I went into the chat there and let folks know uh, that we were, your show was here on Universal Mind Radio. Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Okay, uh, is there any other comments or considerations today? If not, let's wrap it up and we'll go to Stellar Group. And um, I I won't be on, I'll be listening to Tony because we're just within minimum a day or two to the RV and I need to keep up with it. So... Um, uh, Susan, will you initiate the call for for, for, uh, for Stellar? Sure will. We're with you, Frank. Okay. Yep. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate Thanks, Frank. Thank you. Love, love. Thank you, love. See you all Saturday. All right. Okay. okay, folks, that was it. Frank Jordan and the Earth Mind Think Tank, or the Earth Mind Healing Group, uh, signing off early, and uh, I'll see you on Saturday. See you on Saturday, at 9 a.m. I'm tripping because the thing ain't recording right here, but so I hope you can hear me. <clears throat> uh, have a wonderful day. Have a great day, everybody, and we'll talk to you later.